fucked. For a world to be correctly classed as fucked, as ours clearly is, the vast majority of those who live within that world must have lost their ability to make love. For a fucked world must be mostly populated by those who can do little more than fuck. You see, to make love and to merely fuck are at the opposite ends of the scale when it comes to what sort of a world they create in their image. Fucking is actually selfish. Fucking is all about wanting for yourself. Whereas making love, on the other hand, making love is actually unselfish. Making love is all about giving. And by that I mean, when two individuals are truly making love with one another, they are both concentrating wholly on giving pleasure to their lover. There is no self-consideration present. Now, as in the act of making love, both individuals are giving freely to one another, both are actually receiving without either having to want anything. That is the main difference between merely fucking and truly making love. The wanting is missing. Now, of course, it stands to reason that in order for love to be made, for the giving of pleasure to occur freely between two individuals, the two who are involved in the act must first be in love with one another. Love comes first, with the act of making love coming later. A situation that is now sadly lacking in our world today. In fact, it would be fair to say that in the vast majority of cases where the sexual act takes place, there is no love at all to be found. All there is is a large amount of wanting, often on both sides. For man has now corrupted woman to the point where she often behaves precisely as he does. Many years ago, though, things were different. A woman would not give herself to a man until he had first proved his love for her. She stood firm. And through that firm stance, she was actually helping to keep love alive here on planet Earth. And no, that is not to blame woman for the current state of things, for both man and woman have let their standards slip as time has progressed. Both have slowly given in to the temptation of the devil, to the temptation of sex without love, for that is what the devil actually is, sex without love. An act in which there is only wanting and there is no giving, an often violent act that demands, an act that generally ends.